Hey everybody, Johan Magnuson here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and I'm here today to cook you one of my favorite dishes of all time, a Swedish classic toast skagen. Allegedly it was invented in 1956 by the first sort of celebrity chef in Sweden, Tore Vreitman. The rumor has it that he was out sailing with a couple of friends and there wasn't enough wind to take them back to shore before, uh, before dinner time. So basically what he did was that he put together some key ingredients that he had on board and a Swedish classic was born. So the first thing that we're gonna do with the toast coggin is that we're gonna put together the shrimp mix. It's the cold Atlantic shrimp. Uh, it's important that you use these and not the big cocktail shrimps or the prawns that you can find in the US. The reason for it is that these are a little bit sweeter. Uh, you can actually find these at Ikea. And if you can't, if you don't have an Ikea close by, most grocery stores sell them and it's called shrimp meat. What you then wanna do is you wanna mix this with about three quarters of a cup of mayo and about half a cup of sour cream. And just stir that around. There we go. The next thing that goes in is about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Stir that around. After that, you have about a one whole red onion, finely chopped. There we go, mix that around. And then of course, the staple wear of Swedish cuisine, chopped dill. And you can actually throw in quite a lot. I use almost half a cup for this recipe. I like that. The next step is optional, but I like it because it gives a good saltiness, and that is some roe, white fish roe. And uh, I think it gives it a nice little crunch, but also some saltiness to this. And there you go, you have the shrimp mix ready to be served. So we're gonna set that aside, and then we're gonna work on the uh, bread. So the next thing we're gonna do is the bread. And of course you can do this in a regular toaster, but I like, uh, I like to do it this way. So what we have is regular white bread, good quality though. I've cut off the, uh, the edges, and then I'm gonna use some duck fat in a hot, hot uh, saute pan. So I'm just gonna spray this with a little bit of duck fat. I just think that it gives it such a good flavor. And then we're gonna put the bread in. Uh, we're gonna let them sear for a, maybe a couple of minutes on each side, and then they should be ready to serve. So it's been about 45 seconds. I flipped them once and they're about to be ready. Uh, I'm gonna give them about 10, 15 seconds more and they should be go to go, good to go. And then it's time to plate it and uh, serve it. So when it comes to the plating, I like to keep it, you know, pretty straightforward and simple. So start with a big, dollop of uh, toast coggin, maybe a little bit more. You don't want to be skimpy on the shrimpy here. I like to add a little bit of uh, roe on it. There we go. A couple of sprigs of uh, dill. There we go. And then uh, finally, a little slice of lemon. And that should do it right there, a toast kagen. Well, I think the only thing left is to see how, what it tastes like, so let's go. Mmm. Messy, but also good. Uh, if you want to watch more videos like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to our website www.bigsweetbarbecue.com. This is good stuff, people. You better try it at home. Thanks for watching.